Guava juice. Shake, shake, my comrade. Shake that invention of the working class. Shake that unifying medicine before it's too late. Shake before the time come to pass. Just shake that guava juice. And true, true, Kabane. True, that liquid of capitalist invention. True, the blood of Nsikane. True, before they see your intention. Just throw that guava juice. And dance, dance, my hero. Dance at the success of your throw. Dance because the dogs are still at a distance. Just dance for that guava juice. And make, make my young lion. Make another guava juice. Make another one as strong as iron. Make many more until they beg for the truth. Just make those guava juices. And beg, beg, you bastard. Beg that your filthy skin be spared. Beg that your blood does not flood. Beg because you've many guava juices stored. Beg those little dangerous guava juices. <laughs> my, uh, I think my first poetry performance in this kind of populist uh, icon sense, yeah, was at UWC. I was, I was, an, was a member of the SRC at UWC. And then one day we had some mass meeting at the university. And then, no, it was not, it was not as an SRC member. It was before I was in the SRC. There was, an, there was some mass meeting. And so the MC said, if you want to do a poem, you can come and do a poem. And there was nobody going to do a poem. Or so I saw. So I thought. So I finally went up there and I said, I'm going to do, can I, can, I, can I do a poem? And, said, and the guy said to me, Yes, but you must be very quick when you do your poem. Do it and get out of here. So I said, okay, I'll do it. And so um, some other two, three people did their poems. And finally, it came to me and he said to me, no, remember, I said, quick and out. So <laughs> I did the poem. So you must understand it was our protest that time always had a confrontational um, part and a con confrontational end. And Santile normally came up just before the end of the um, meetings. And you would do guava juice, and after that, people would shout heck to, which means we must go to the gates of UWC to go and challenge the police. And that's what we did. So I think um, guava juice, the reason I remembered, even up till today, I can probably recite the words to you, <laughs> is not because I heard it so often probably part of that, but also because it incited us to actually go and take on the police. That's my activism linked to my poetry. My, my point of fame wasn't really how, how eloquent I articulate an anti-apartheid stance in a strict political terms. It was more cultural articulation of my anti-apartheidism. And so, after that, I became very, after my poetry readings, I became very popular at DWC. I mean, somebody walking past the street, oh yes, the one thing, people didn't know my name because I did, I did health protection, I did guava juice. Um, after that, people don't know my name. This Sunday, the thing, ha ha ha, they don't know it. They call me guava juice. <laughs> so I became guava juice and as a guava juice, I got nominated to the SRC elections. I'll tell you this funny story. One day, the guys from Sansco, South African National Students Congress, came to my room and said, Sandy, my brother, we like you. We like your poetry, the way you do poems and stuff like that in your consciousness. We, we are just coming to ask you, please stand elections for the SRC. And I laughed at them. Because, hey, I can't stand SRC elections. I'm my first year at UWC. They said, okay, no, we, we, we thought about that and we spoke to the rector. Um, and, you know, he's, you know, you must just go and see him tomorrow. We've got an appointment for you, for you at tomorrow at 11. 
and the following day I went to see Jakes. I said, Jakes, Professor Herbert.